a painful slap. Queen snubs Harry as eliminating Sussex's name out of speech but praising William. Queen Elizabeth has seemingly snubbed her grandson, Prince Harry, in a video message addressing the world's leaders attending the COP26 summit in Glasgow. On Monday evening, the monarch urged world leaders to protect the planet for our children and our children's children in a speech delivered remotely. The 95-year-old was due to address the conference in person, but cancelled following advice from doctors. Still, her words were keenly observed by royal fans and climate change activists alike. The Queen's address included praise for her late husband Prince Philip, their son Prince Charles, and his son Prince William for their environmental efforts. Despite shining a light on the important issue, failing to mention the Duke of Sussex while lavishing praise on his older brother and father will not go unnoticed, body language expert Judy James claims. Speaking to Express.co.uk, the analyst said, This is an immensely personal and touching speech from the Queen, who uses it to create a wonderfully loyal and loving tribute to her late husband Philip. The Queen speaks not just as a royal leader but as a proud widow, mother and grandmother. Her words are stunningly emotional as she speaks of my dear late husband, quoting a speech he made on the urgency of climate change back in 1969. Her pride also spills over as she refers to the way that the leading role my husband played lives on through the work of our eldest son Charles and his eldest son William. The glaring omission of Harry's name on this list will probably be discussed but the Queen seems emphatic about the chain of eldest to eldest being remarkable. She even adds I could not be more proud of them to make this one of the most emotional public messages ever from the Queen. She discusses her own experience of meeting many of the world's greatest leaders and in a flattering nudge to the current leaders watching her speech. She describes how she understands a little about what made them special describing it as statesmanship before urging her audience to achieve true statesmanship in a very clever appeal that never lectures or hectors, but which gently flatters them into taking the right action on climate change. Her speech came shortly after Charles, 72, addressed the G20 summit in Rome at the weekend where he talked about the dangers of climate change. The heir to the throne is also due to speak at the COP26 conference, where he will tell world leaders that a warlike footing is needed to tackle the climate crisis. He has branded the summit as the planet's the last chance saloon. While senior royals have descended on the conference in the Queen's absence, Harry and wife Meghan have barely been mentioned. This is despite the Sussexes vocally championing climate change causes from their base in America. In May, father of two Harry claimed the fallout from using fossil fuels is one of the two most pressing issues facing the world. Weeks ago, Prince William and wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, held their inaugural Earth Shot Prize ceremony, the Prince's Environmental Prize. During the Earth Shot ceremony, in a pre recorded message, the Prince also spoke of the importance to take immediate action. We are alive in the most consequential time in human history. The actions we choose or choose not to take in the next ten years will determine the fate of the planet for the next thousand. The Queen's speech notably excluded Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, who has since fallen out with members of the royal family, along with wife Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. Although Harry and Meghan have together been recognized for their commitment to limiting their family to two children for environmental reasons, the Queen did not mention either. In the coming days, the world has a chance to join in the shared objective creating a safer, stabler future for our people and the planet on which we depend.